the final prize in the Halloween project from last year was a Raspberry Pi 5 4 gigabyte right here but element 14 also sent me a Raspberry Pi 5 8 gigabyte which I've been packaging up into this chassis here so on top of the Pi 5 there is a active cooler and then, then there's a hat on top of it which can handle this SSD card M.2 and then there's a PCIe cable that goes from the hat down to the PCIe connector on a on the Raspberry Pi over here let's see if I can get this thing to focus over here is a blue endless module that can accommodate either an M.2 SSD MVME or a SATA uh, SSD and it converts that to a USB cable so I can use an SSD as an external drive and what I did with this was to load the operating system the Raspberry Pi operating system onto the SSD which is right here and I did that using the Raspberry Pi operating system installer so I don't have to um, go through hoops to try and load an SS, um, a SD card up on a Raspberry Pi and then you know load the operating system from the Raspberry Pi I can just do it using this external drive so there's four screws to hold the lid on here but there is room at the top of this for something else and I'm not quite sure yet what I want to put in there I'm thinking maybe a USB hub would make this computer a lot more expandable even though there's already four USB ports you can always use more if you have some better suggestions leave a comment below but this is a really nice little computer now with a full SSD uh, booting up pretty quickly and I will report exactly how long it takes to boot that up here is the assembled Raspberry Pi 5 I don't yet have the 6 amp power supplies that are coming to power this one and the other Pi 5 but it it does boot off the 4 amp power supply that I have even though it complains about not having enough current okay I'm gonna see if I can start this up and time the startup so let me get the power and the stopwatch boom Boom, there we go. 17 seconds. <laughs> 